Heavenly Father, we ask your blessing on the reading of your word. May your Holy Spirit guide us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Acts 21, we should finish uh, Acts 21 today. Uh, verse 27. Uh, so uh, these are two repeat verses. I just wanted to bring them up. Uh, remember, I believe Paul made a mistake here uh, in terms of agreeing to this purification, caving to uh, the Jewish uh, brethren here uh, so that he could speak to others. Now, at the same time, uh, Paul said, I become all things to all men. Uh, but the fact that it got interrupted, I don't believe the Lord allowed it. So verse 27, and when the seven days were almost ended, as he's going through this purification process, the Jews, which were of Asia, when they saw him in the temple, stirred up all the people and laid hands on him, crying out, men of Israel, help. This is the man that teacheth all men everywhere against the people and the law and this place and further brought Greeks also into the temple and has, hath polluted this holy place. Uh, so these people come uh, and uh, here Paul is falsely accused because he does none of those things. Uh, you know, the Lord Jesus said, I do not come uh, to uh, abolish the law. I came to fulfill the law. And he fulfilled the law in that he never uh, broke one bit of it. Uh, he's the only one who could fulfill it. And uh, that's why we need him, uh, because we ourselves could never fulfill it. And the, the Jews could never fulfill it. They thought righteousness came by the law. And uh, it was a stumbling block to them. Verse 29, for they had seen before with him in the city Tro Trophimus, an Ephesian, whom they supposed that Paul had brought into the temple. And all the city was moved, and the people ran together, and they took Paul and drew him out of the temple, and forthwith the doors were shut. Uh, forthwith. Uh, forthwith means it was just done uh, right away. And as they went about to kill him, tidings came unto the chief captain uh, of the band that all Jerusalem was in an uproar who immediately took soldiers and centurions and ran down unto them. And when they saw the chief captains and the soldiers, they left beating of Paul. Now, a couple things here. Paul's attacked, okay? Um, Paul is eventually going to die uh, as a result of his faith, and any of us could die as a result of our faith. Uh, and if uh, you are a believer in a tougher circumstance, I want to encourage you, uh, just remember that the Lord uh, he is your shield. Uh, he is your rock. He is your salvation. He's your strength and your shield. Um, and he is a high tower. Uh, he's there in a time of trouble. And no matter what, if uh, you should die for your faith and die at any time, if your trust is in him, you have nothing to fear. Uh, because though he were dead, yet shall he live. And that's the way we need to live our life. I know there's a lot of people with a lot of fear right now. All the different uh, things. I know COVID put a lot of fear in people. It's still got a lot of people in fear. And I'm not saying we should be unwise in terms of not taking care of ourselves. Uh, but I'm not sitting here every day worrying about some disease that could take me. Sure, a disease could take me. But I know where I'm going to go. And I'm going to go to heaven not because of anything I've done not because of anything I deserve, but because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross. My trust is in him and he has me. If I have to rely on anything I've done, I'm sunk and I, I wouldn't make it, okay? Um, but secondly, keep in mind that here these soldiers came and many times uh, the Lord sends, uh, even here, these wouldn't have been Christian soldiers. He, he sent them uh, where they stopped beating Paul. Many times we've been under the protection of God and not even known it. Verse 33. Then the chief captain came near and took him and commanded him to be bound with two chains and demanded who he was and what he had done. So Paul is going to be carried away here in these uh, three verses. And some cried one thing and some another among the multitude. And when he could not know the certainty for the tumult, he commanded him to be carried into the castle. Now, I've mentioned this before. There's another passage that's even better in Acts where when the mob gets together, they, they don't know what they're doing. So many people get carried away in a mob. And that's why I encourage you, especially if you're young kids, don't get caught up 
being out in a group of people that's up to no good. You're going to get carried away and not even know what you've done. You've done, and I believe there are a lot of people who are sitting in prison today who don't even know why how they got there. They know what they did, but they don't know how they got caught up in it. And part of it, if you're going to keep bad company, it's going to corrupt you. And you need to realize that and you need to stay out of those situations where those things can get out of control. Now, nothing got out of control in this case, but that is something to live by for especially young kids. Get out of the mob mentality. You don't need to be in that group because you probably don't even know what you stand for. Uh, There's so many things, especially in the political realm. uh, And I don't even trust any of our politicians anymore because so many of them are so... uh, reversed on so many things and they say they stand for one thing and they stand for the exact opposite. Uh, We've got people in office right now who uh, stand against uh, so many things that people think they support and have proven it with their voting records. Verse 35, and when he came up the stairs, so it was that he was born of the soldiers for the violence of the people. So here, Uh, He's carried away and he's taken away. For the multitude of the people following after crying, away with him. Verse 37. And as Paul was to be led to the castle, he said unto the chief captain, May I speak unto thee, who said, Canst thou speak Greek? Uh, So Paul here, he's got a concern. He's got a concern for the people he wants to preach. Yeah, he, he's got a heart always to deliver the gospel. And uh, we want to have a heart to deliver the gospel. Verse 38, art thou not a, that Egyptian, which before these days made an uproar and led us out into the wilderness 4,000 men that were murderers? But Paul said, I am a man which am a Jew of Tarsus, a city in Cilicia, a citizen of no mean city. And I beseech thee, suffer me to speak unto the people. And again, I I say this in several things, but suffer means allow. And I love the word suffer in here. You know, allow me to do it. But we live in an age where people don't want to read the King James Bible because they think it's so difficult. It is a wonderful language. It's a beautiful language. And uh, it was translated in such a way that it is the word of God in English. And... uh, so many other translations, they have to change certain percentages to even be uh, uh, copyright okayed. So what did they change? But just because it uses a word like suffer, I saw a video years ago where uh, they were going around to young women and uh, these young men were going around and asking these young women to uh, sign a petition to end women's suffrage. Well, suffrage is the right to vote. And these women didn't know that. And they were signing this petition to end the right of women to vote. And uh, maybe we'd be better off if we read the King James Bible more. And I know we would as a society. Verse 40. And when he had given him license, Paul stood on the stairs and beckoned with the hand unto the people. And when there is made a great silence, he spake unto them in the Hebrew tongue, saying, and we're going to end on a cliffhanger today because we're going to go into Acts Uh, 22 tomorrow. Uh, But I'm enjoying going through the book of Acts. I hope the Lord is blessing you uh, with the study of his word. Um, uh, May the Lord bless you today. If any out there are struggling with something today, just uh, Lord, we lift them up to you with anybody struggling. If anybody is unsure in their salvation, we just uh, pray today that they would uh, call out to you uh, because You say that if we call on the name of the Lord, we can be saved. And uh, just give them assurance. Give them uh, just peace in their uh, soul.